Former Broncos QB Chad Kelly won't be remembered by fans here for his winning ways. Likely it'll be because of this. Running out of a Metro home, dressed as Woody from Toy Story, being chased by the homeowner with a vacuum cleaner attachment. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm glad you're with us tonight. I'm Shannon Nog. And I'm Andrew Hill. A judge decided today Kelly won't get jail time for trespassing. Instead, he was given a lighter deal. Denver 7's Jackie Cray was in the courtroom for today's hearing. It's the home surveillance video capturing the bizarre moments leading to Chad Kelly's arrest. An Inglewood homeowner is chasing the now former Broncos player Kelly out of his house with a vacuum hose. Kelly had walked in and sat down mumbling words next to a woman on the couch holding a baby. Police would find and arrest Kelly later, still in his Halloween costume. After Von Miller's Halloween party, where Kelly had reportedly gotten into a fight, his arrest ended his career with the Broncos. When you have one person that kind of puts a dent in the whole the whole process, it's uh, it's very disappointing. In the end, he managed to stay out of jail and was back in court agreeing to a deal, pleading guilty to a second degree misdemeanor trespassing charge. As part of a plea deal, District Attorney George Brockler waived the first degree trespassing charge, which would have made this a felony. In some places where people have gone to the wrong home, the outcome has been far more dire for that person. Uh, this is a state that has a make my day law. Kelly was sentenced to one year probation and 50 hours of community service back in his home state of New York. The key is to get better each and every day, whether it's your first string, second string, third string practice squad, you have to get better. In Inglewood, Jackie Crea, Denver 7.